Scientists have put out a warning about the Mount Cleveland volcano in Alaska's Aleutian Islands. There have been three brief explosions over the past week, and observers believe the next one could send a plume of ash 20,000 feet into the air. That would threaten air travel because volcanic ash can damage jet engines. A volcanic eruption is one of nature's most spectacular events, rarely witnessed up close. But Scott Pelly was able to see one firsthand when he traveled to one of Iceland's most active volcanoes for 60 minutes. Ayaflatlayuk means island mountain glacier in the inscrutable language of Iceland. When it blew in 2010, we started shooting this story. And we came to the right place. Over the last 500 years, Iceland's 30 volcanoes have released one third of all of the lava on Earth. We put together an expedition to be the first to reach the summit after the eruption. The volcanic landscape covered in ice isn't hospitable to life or convoys for that matter. The man in front of the truck is pointing out cracks in the glacier that would swallow us whole. We covered miles of forbidding terrain at walking speed. We're almost at the highest point. When the trucks could go no further, we hiked with our guide one of the world's leading authorities on volcanoes, Haraldr Sigurdsson. Wow, that is astounding. Oh, look at that. Hey. Oh my God. Incredible. What a sight. I'm looking right into the crater. Scientists rate volcanic eruptions on a scale of zero to eight. This is a four, which they call cataclysmic. Tell me what you're seeing. It's an explosive eruption and explosions are producing big clouds of ash that are moving up, up straight up into the atmosphere at the velocity of a few hundred feet per second and throwing out huge rocks. How big are these pieces that we see flying? Some of these are the size of cars. And how high are at, they going up? Must be a thousand feet. Oh, at least a thousand feet, but they're still red hot. They're maybe 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. Unbelievable. And you can see Scott's full report on volcanoes this Sunday on 60 Minutes.